good everybody and welcome back to the channel to another episode of cold curls we're back at it again and in case you're new here and you're thinking what is cold curls because you just got shivers well guess what this is a whole playlist dedicated to caring for your curls in wintry cold weather because it needed a whole playlist now one of the major problems that we have in the winter is of course dryness there's no secret the cold weather leads to dryness dryness in our hairs and dryness in our scalps you know when you just start shaking your head and suddenly it starts snowing and i'm not talking about the weather that's dry and flaky scalp that is really a nuisance to all of us why is this happening what can we do to prevent it what are the potential dangers of a dry and flaky scalp that need to be addressed I do want to thank and shout out Eva and MIC for sponsoring this video. Guys, I really do truly love these products. The wash day is bomb. My scalp feels amazing. So stay tuned and without further ado, let's get to it. Did I introduce myself? By the way, I am your main girl, Mel. Okay, so dry scalps. What is a dry scalp? How do I know if I have a dry scalp? Well, let me tell you. I know what a dry scalp is like. I've experienced it time and time again. I'm very familiar with the very uncomfortable feelings. And if you're not sure if you have a dry scalp or what that is, let's quickly go over the dry scalp. Because there are a lot of different scalp problems and skin conditions that kind of look like it could be a dry scalp. You know, it's really important to properly diagnose that your problem is a dry scalp and not something else because misdiagnosis can lead to further problems and irritation and it's just not good. So what is a dry scalp? Well, the dry scalp that we recognize is the flakiness and the irritation that our scalps get when it is lacking moisture. The symptoms of a dry scalp, dry, dry, why are you so dry? Include small little white looking flakes, itching on the scalp, burning on the scalp. The skin can look and feel scaly. You can feel bumpy or red patches on the scalp. You may also be noticing excessive hair fall and shedding because a dry scalp can lead to dryness in the hairs and dry hair can be very brittle and it can lead to breakage that can happen very close to the roots. So if you're noticing all of those type of annoying things are happening, well, then you likely have a dry scalp. Not to be mistaken for dandruff that happens with an oily scalp and an overproduction of oil because one of the causes of a dry scalp is lack of moisturization based on your skin type. So if you naturally have dry skin everywhere else, you know, ashy elbows, knees, heels and toes, you maybe just happen to have a skin type that doesn't naturally produce a lot of sebum. Sebum. Now sometimes our skin only gets really dry in particular seasons, hence why we're here for cold curls. Wind and cold weather are very irritating to the skin as well as there's a lack of humidity in cold weather, so there's not moisture in the air. And really, I think we all just need to move closer to the equator. Anyways, as we've learned in so many other cold curls episodes, the lack of humidity in the air is a huge problem which causes us to lose moisture rapidly which means another cause for a dry scalp would be not sealing in that moisture but we're gonna get more to that in a minute we get moisture from hydration and the number one ingredient for hydration is hold on actually I'm a little bit dehydrated to be honest water water if you are dehydrated you can see that in your skin most of the time so drinking water is very important. It's not the only thing that's gonna give you nice plump skin, but it can prevent from your skin drying out so much and leading to a lot of flaking. So hydration is key. Yet another cause for dry scalp can be scalp imbalances. Now we talked about balance a lot. Balance is key. And especially in some of my most recent videos, we got into the nitty gritty scientific on why balance when it comes to pH is so important. Our hair and scalps naturally sit at a pH at around 4.5 to 5.5. Being in this level means healthy, balanced skin, and this happens when there are no disturbances in the pH. Now that very thing that maintains the balanced pH on our scalp and our skin is the sebum that we naturally create. This is also known as our mantle, our acid mantle. 
So when we disturb the pH of our acid mantle by putting things on it that are not anywhere compatible with our natural pH, it can kind of throw off your system and now your skin can become more susceptible to things like bacteria, damage, infection, and other attacks that happen because of these imbalances. Balance, everybody. Balance! Including other balances like moisture versus protein, clarify condition, and treating our hair and our scalps to those needs each wash day. So if we're overly washing our hair in the winter and we're not using a moisturizing enough shampoo, it's only going to further dry out and irritate our scalps. So if you do have a dry scalp, think about how often you're cleansing, because if you're shampooing on a daily basis, don't do that, and how moisturizing is your cleanser when you need that moisture. This is where our hair care products come into play. Let's talk about some of the solutions we can do to save our dry and flaky scalps. So we need to get rid of the dusty, crusty, flaky, shaky shit that's flying out of our heads. How do we do that, you ask? By exfoliating. Exfoliation. Oh, I love a good scrub. Scrub a dub dub in the damn tub. Just scrub me. It's good time to be alive. Woo! Scalp exfoliation is one of the best ways to not just remove those nasty dead skin flakes, but also to get moisture back into our scalp. Hear me out. Getting rid of those pesky lingering flakes will pave the way for fresh new skin. Now on any given wash day, I like to use my scalp scrub massager, but not to be mistaken for exfoliating, a tool like this can help to scrub and massage but for example, if you're using a moisturizing shampoo, like this isn't gonna help to exfoliate. It's gonna help to work everything in and distribute product and make sure you get everywhere. But to actually physically exfoliate, we need proper products that will do that. And also some manual magic with our fingers. Now I'm gonna show you what my scalp looks like. This is day three hair, by the way. Um, I'll show clips here of what my hair looked like before I had washed my hair. My scalp wasn't dramatically flaky because I have been exfoliating it, but my scalp was extremely itchy and irritated from using a product that I determined was not for me. So I needed a good cleanse, I needed a deep tox and I wanted to just exfoliate and cleanse the dirt away and I use this. Hold on. This bad boy right here. This is the Eva NYC Deep Tox Exfoliating Salt Shampoo. And I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how something like this can work because this isn't just any kind of exfoliator, it's a salt scrub. Now what's really important when you're using a salt kind of scrub is that you're not too abrasive. The product itself is already so scrubby, we don't need to be too aggressive with our scalp. So when I'm using an exfoliator, I love working in circles and I start from the top of my head and I move everything downwards. So let's talk about why something like salt can be so beneficial. Well this is a pretty intense scrub. If you look at the texture of it, it's really thick. Like there's really big rocks of salt in here. And I found it to be very effective, besides feeling amazing, it's very effective at scrubbing away any kind of dead skin cells. Especially because the more dead skin that you have on your scalp, the harder it's gonna to be to remove. Because dead skin cells get harder with age. They harden, they start to get crusty. So that layer of skin that's on your scalp only gets thicker and thicker until it finally just needs to be removed. So the salt is what powers this kind of product. Salt is not just exfoliating, but it is also invigorating. That abrasive, not aggressive, but abrasive action helps to improve circulation. And improved circulation gives that skin a natural glow. And my number one tip is that you give a thorough rinse. I prefer to put my shower head like right on my scalp. I rinse for a good amount of time and my hair felt clean, clean very clean, definitely clarified. This is a clarifying deep tox shampoo. It's very strong. It's not something you need all the time, only when you really need that deep clarification, a good exfoliation. Now magically, salt also helps to fight infections. And that's because salt can kind of open up the pores and it sucks out toxins. It's like we always say, the ocean is just so 
healing and amazing for us. And everyone says jump in the ocean if you ever cut yourself. But then again, sharks. Or if you have a throat infection, you gargle salt. Salt has these antiseptic qualities. And when we apply them to our skin, it can help kill bacteria and also reduce inflammation. While also, unfortunately, sucking out water. That's the only thing and something very important to consider when you are using a salted product because salt does draw out moisture, which might sound counterintuitive, but again, it's drawing out toxins. It's really, really detoxing the scalp and the hair. And after doing something like this, you need to condition. You need to deep condition, put that moisture back in your hair, that good moisture. So right after my deep talks, I followed up with the therapy sessions hair mask. Now I do want to give a tip. If you do feel like your hair is really dry and you do have a really dry scalp, sometimes after doing a deep thorough cleanse, I'll follow up with a conditioning wash. So I'll put a co-wash that's meant to go on my scalp, on my scalp to help to rehydrate that as well and moisturize and soothe that fresh new skin that we just revealed. I sat on my hair using my whole Eva NYC winter routine and I'm like, the results are amazing. My hair still feels so soft, like the bomb. I'm gonna show you guys my scalp now. Remember, this is day three. There is not a flake in sight, but better yet, I'm not itchy. Oh my god, my last wash day was horrendous. You guys don't understand. If you follow me on Instagram, you know because I shared what went wrong. I shared what products just didn't didn't work for me. And like, and my scalp was just not good. By day three, it was so itchy. And here I am on day three. This is two sleeps. Looks so good. It feels good. And best of all, my scalp isn't itchy. Scalp care is the number one thing because healthy hair comes from your scalp, everybody. So make sure that you're taking care of your scalp. Again, doing a salt scrub like this is not something you need to do all the time. If you do have really sensitive skin, you want to be careful using a salt scrub. A sugar scrub may be better for you or just something more gentle because, again, this is very rocky. It can be quite abrasive, but it feels amazing. So after all that, after you've exfoliated, you've now revealed new skin, it's really important to make sure that we keep it moisturized. Again, that's why sometimes I follow up with a conditioning wash. I do not put a lot of oils on my scalp unless I'm washing my hair the next day. You need to be very careful with putting a lot of oils on your scalp and on your skin because it can create further problems. It can lead to dandruff, not just dry scalp, but dandruff which is a whole other scalp condition. There are a lot of different scalp and skin conditions that you could be facing and that could be leading to a lot of problems with your hair. And in some upcoming videos, we are going to dive into other skin conditions. So stay tuned for that. There's a lot of information to come. I'm excited to share with you guys information from skincare and health professionals that really know this stuff because seriously, it is the most important thing to take care of your scalp. So listen to your scalp, listen to your hairs, and listen to me each and every Texture Tuesday. I hope you guys learned something new today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do want to thank and shout out Eva NYC for sponsoring this video. Guys, I really do truly love these products. The wash day is bomb. My scalp feels amazing. I'll link below where you can get products like these. If you have other scalp recommendations, drop them below. Help someone out, especially if you have a dry scalp. Let us know what's good. Make sure you share this video with your loved ones and subscribe for more because I'll see you each and every Texture Tuesday. This has been your main girl Mel, out. Peace. That was one take, Amanda. Are you proud of me? I think that's good. I'm not gonna redo it. I think it flowed. Um, let's hope for the best. I feel so cute. This is a damn good hair day, okay? This is life. I think this only happens to you when you don't listen to me. No, this happens to me in the winter. And because you don't I, listen to me. When I don't listen to you. The volume, the definition, the softness, the shine. Oh, dear curls. I'm proud to call you mine. It's good to be back to the education. It's good to be back. Very good. Yeah, everything's going so well. Okay, great. <laughs>